So I saw Super Troopers 2 and long story short, it was a pretty solid film. It's also a film that's 17 years in the making, so I almost felt obligated to see it. The first film released in January 2001, and the sequel finally saw the light of day in April 2018, on the 20th. Yeah, they probably waited to release the movie on 420 because they thought it'd be funny. Though, all things considered, the movie didn't really have more than one or two light pot references in it, so it was probably for the laughs. Currently, Super Troopers 2 is at a 34% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 40% on Metacritic, but with a 710 on Internet Movie Database, so clearly something doesn't line up. Where's the discrepancy? Oh, here it is. If you look deeper into Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb's pages, you'll see that while the critics panned it, audiences generally enjoyed it. Which is something I notice with a lot of movies these days, but that's for a whole different video, so maybe we'll tackle that subject another time. The fact remains that the original movie made pretty similar scores to the original from both critics and viewers alike. I suspect the sequel will inevitably see a gradual rise to higher viewer satisfaction over time as they become more familiar with it and appreciate it more. So what is Super Troopers? If you've never seen the original cult classic cop comedy, it's about a group of Vermont state troopers who are diehard pranksters, who find their jobs under threat and so attempt to solve a crime to outshine the local police and prove their worth. If you haven't seen the original, it's absolutely worth a watch, especially if you enjoy comedies because the humor regularly knocks it out of the park. The history for Super Troopers 2 is a bit interesting. Initially, the sequel was planned to be a prequel taking place in the 70s, following the fathers of the main characters from the original film. They must have figured that this was a bad idea because it was dropped. Later on, the idea for the current film came to fruition, but the studio they were working with, Fox Searchlight Pictures, doubted the film would find an audience and so were reluctant to greenlight it. Which is fair, considering they announced the project in 2015, almost a decade and a half after the original. Fox Searchlight Pictures then demanded Broken Lizard, the comedy troupe that wrote the script for the first Super Troopers, find production funding themselves. In response, Broken Lizard turned to Indiegogo to crowdfund production costs, with a goal of $2 million, which was reached in only 26 hours after the crowdfunding campaign started. In total, they raised $4.8 million, and backers received tickets from Fandango for donating. The original cast reprised their roles for the sequel, including actor Brian Cox, who plays Captain O'Hagan. It's clear that the guy is getting up there in age, he's in his 50s now, but it's good to see him in the role again because the movie would have felt empty without him. Otherwise, time has treated the cast pretty well. They look much like they did in the original 2001 movie, which I figure is probably from touch-ups thanks to a talented makeup crew. The unsung heroes of movie filmmaking for sure. From this point onward, fair warning, there's going to be spoilers. If that sort of thing is important to you, you might want to move on to the next weird YouTube video in your sidebar. We'll see you next time. If you're just here to see if Super Troopers 2 is worth watching, I say absolutely. Though, I'd wait for it to come out on Blu-ray or Netflix, because there's really no huge benefit to watching it in theaters. If you've seen the original movie, you've probably picked out that they have similar storylines. The troopers goof off, stumble into a mystery, find their jobs in peril, and focus on solving the mystery to save their jobs. To say that Super Troopers 2 follows the exact same formula is a bit of an understatement. It's almost a mirror image of the original movie, but with raunchier, more modern humor. Which makes sense. Why make a movie in current times, set in current times, and not modernize your jokes? So a lot of your enjoyment with the sequel depends on two specific things. One, did you enjoy the original? And two, your thoughts on reused jokes, gags, and plot lines. I'm not exaggerating when I say Super Troopers 2 is almost a perfect clone of the original movie. The only real difference between them is the plot twist. In the original, the local cops are corrupt and are the ones smuggling, but in the sequel, they make it appear that the Canadian Mounties are the smugglers when they're really not, and they were simply being played all along. The differences in story between the two movies are relatively minor. Considering the plot was never really a huge focus of the first movie outside of situational humor and to move the story, I think it's forgivable. Most current day comedies handle plot in a similar manner, using it as a tool to move the main characters to new situations to set up new jokes. Forgive me if I maul some names here. I predicted the double double cross from Genevieve Bois, played by actress Emmanuel Triqui, 
who, looking at her IMDb, seems to be the right middle tier actress for a low budget film like this one, but I'll admit that I hadn't expected that the smugglers would be using the overall plot, that is, the transfer of Canadian territory to American territory, to easily smuggle in a large amount of product that would make more money in America than Canada. This isn't ultimately an important aspect to the movie, but as an avid movie watcher, I can appreciate when a movie successfully throws a curveball, however slow a pitch it might be. In conclusion, Super Troopers 2 is no better, but no worse, compared to the original cult classic. It takes what made the first movie so funny and enjoyable and does it all over again, with very minor differences. Because of that safety, familiarity, and general refusal to stray far from a tried and true comedic formula, it manages to avoid the pitfall that most comedy sequels tend to fall into. Movies like Hot Tub Time Machine 2, Son of the Mask, Anchorman 2, and Hangover Part 2, to name a few. Considering Super Troopers 2 has so far earned over $25 million on a $13.5 million budget, at least we can say it's a profit. I predict DVD and Blu-ray sales will be more successful than the movie's box office run, so the end profit will likely be much larger. Thanks for hanging out with me. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want more Chunky Beef, and links to my stream and social media are in the description below. See you next time.